Good. All right. So my wife would, I'm sure, is going to want to get some lessons from you, Janelle, on how to control me. All right, next I'd like to move to 25-year employees. For 25 years, Mr. Greg Garman, would you please come up? And thank you for all that you did this year. The scheduling, rescheduling, rescheduling again, rescheduling again. Thank you for all that. Uh, next, we move on to 30-year employees. Um, these are 30-year employees as of last year, so we should have celebrated them last year. Uh, John Barris. Now, I did not know that John was such a great cook. So that was news to me. Thank you so much. Oh, she's always breaking you up. But just not about cooking. It's about everything else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Um, <laughs> we might need those after the day. Um, John, I, I just really want to thank you for uh, stepping up as well as Kevin and really putting on a great meal for us. I do appreciate that. So thank you. And then we get to Robin Reitmeyer. Robin, could you step up, please? Robin, I have never known a more hardworking person than you. So thank you for all the work and for keeping the office in line. And on our service awards, last but certainly not least, 35 years, Sue Akerland. Could you please come up? And of course, being a special education during pandemic, that was quite the, quite the workload, quite the experience. So thank you so much for everything you've done. I was just reminded to ask you to hang out at the end for pictures, so please do so after the program. The next part of this presentation will be the OSPE Awards. Uh, OSPE stands for Outstanding Service to Pirate Youth. So if you didn't know what that stands for, that's what it stands for. Um, we want to recognize uh, several people that made such a contribution to our district, to our students, to our families this year. And to present, uh, we're gonna start off with Denise. So I get to present the Ospies for uh, Washington School. And I'd like to start out with an individual who was um, always puts the needs of others before everyone else. So these are comments by their colleagues. Um, she cannot, uh, she has a can-do attitude and is great, as a great example for all of us. Um, she works so well with students who have a hard time self-regulating. We know what that means. She has a special way of connecting with those students who seem to need the most love. She makes them feel valued and respected. Um, she helps students who need intervention academically as well. She finds ways to motivate them to do hard things and feel confident to take a risk in their learning. She has been so flexible the whole year to meet the staffing needs we had so we could be the best for our students and we all kind of know what that was like this year. One, way she, one day she covered four different areas including school readiness, kindergarten, busing, <clears throat> excuse me, busing transportation, uh, supervision, and school age care. She is an, an important and valuable part of our Washington School family, and she helped us survive COVID. Thank you to Rosa Ibarra.
she usually takes a trip this time of year, and I said, you're not going to Texas, are you? You need to be here on June 1st. <clears throat> Our next recipient, I'm not even sure she's here, uh, Gina Gunderson. Is Gina here? So Gina works with the little people of our district. She's a wonderful advocate for our school district and role model for young families in our community. The ECFE classes and the early childhood events that she plans and organizes and engages families sometimes are really their first experience in our school district. That's how important her job is. Uh, Gina is extremely creative and innovative. During COVID, she created classes and events to keep young families connected, birth to age five, um, and created a safe environment outside the classroom setting to hold some of her classes. She held classes through Zoom, uh, live and recorded, met at community parks for class time, and put together activity bags that parents could pick up in her garage and create at home with their families. She even started a Zoom class for child care providers in our community, and that went over really well with our child care providers who needed extra support during COVID. Gina worked very hard many times throughout the year to fill the holes. She was my go-to person if we had a teacher gone, an aide gone, um, and many times these requests came at 6 a.m. or on the weekend, so thank goodness for Gina. She is always ready and willing to help. She is an important and valuable part of our school family, and she also helped us and our families in the community survive COVID. So we honor Gina for her outstanding service to Pirate Youth. Next up, Chris Trosted to present the Highland Awards. All right, uh, very similar comments from uh, staff members, peers that nominated uh, the OSPE Award winners. Uh, Kathy Demra, she's not here today. She wouldn't come up here and purposely found a way to head somewhere else. She didn't want to be recognized in front of everybody. That's typical Kathy, but uh, comments about Kathy. Kathy's an amazing person, colleague, and para. She's always put students first, making wonderful relationships with each one of her students. She is kind, friendly, dedicated, and is always willing to help out uh, or volunteer with anything needed. She truly demonstrates outstanding service to uh, pirate youth. So Kathy Demra, she's not here, but. All right, the next uh, recipient, uh, the nomination starts off with, what didn't she do this year? Uh, she was a para, she was a sub, she rode a school bus, um, she did the custodial job in the evenings when we were short, um, many time driver's ed, she was photocopying papers for teachers at 6.30 at night, um, probably many other things, but uh, Tina Mesa, if you could come forward. All right, and then we have two teachers. Um, this next recipient um, is just a phenomenal teacher, uh, very creative, um, gets outstanding growth for her students, has had numerous perfect scores on the MCAs repeatedly. Uh, I remember when we interviewed her, uh, asked her about MCA stuff, and she said, I just teach kids to think. That's, that's all you gotta do. And uh, she is, uh, in observing in the classroom, middle of a te teaching lesson, all of a sudden, I think, what the heck is that? Kids all scream, parallel. You know, then pretty soon in the middle of a lesson, what is that? Perpendicular. She's got ABCs. She's got uh, number sense. Uh, the kids uh, learn songs to learn their, their, their addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh, Carrie Hepner, if you'd come forward.
All right. The last recipient from Highland School says, reason for your nomination. Jeremy is one of the first people I see inside the building. He is so warm and friendly with everyone he sees. It's impossible not to crack a smile when you interact with Jeremy. Kids really enjoy his sense of humor. He is not only a great guy, but a great teacher. Uh, you have to come to Highland School some morning and watch Jeremy Lubinsky welcome kids into the school, and even better yet, the adults. So the worst thing that happened was Jeremy got an electronic whistle. So when he got the electronic whistle in his pocket, everybody that walked through the door it was like the sensor went off that you stole something from the store. Oh, back up, better go through again. I think you got something in your backpack. I won't mention the name of the faculty member, but he got one faculty member to go in and out two times because he... <laughs> It's not uncommon for him to walk by the office if you're sitting there and next thing you know all the kids are doing this and showing their muscles and somehow it's amazing how many times you have a birthday in a year. Uh, hey, it's Miss Waver's birthday today. Maybe you guys could sing her happy birthday or uh, I do remember the day that he told all the kids that Mrs. Waver got a new, uh, what are those big trucks with the big, what? Yeah, Mrs. Waver got a new monster truck this weekend. She's giving free rides this weekend, so you guys will have to find out when, when you can come over. So, uh, yeah, just an absolute hoot in the mornings. Uh, every day it's different. Uh, he just really welcomes kids. You know, hey, you Jake up today or you Jake down today? I Jake up. <laughs> so he has a lot of fun with the kids. So come on up, Jeremy. Congratulations. All right, next up is Eric Bubna to present the high school awards. Well, just like the uh, other buildings, we asked uh, all the staff to nominate one support staff and one teacher. So here's a few comments about the support staff um, winner. Comments were, she's an ultimate team player, exceptionally friendly and courteous, fearless in taking on huge projects, does an awesome job with all the, quote, technology stuff. Can do attitude helps all of us be a lot better. Uh, Kayla Snyder has been an absolutely incredible addition to our office and has uh, offered a ton of expertise at a, a critical time for us. She took on huge proje projects this year, um, just even thinking like the AAA banquet, uh, that virtual one that we had to do a year ago. So um, just a joy to work with and works her butt off for kids and um, like it says here, I think we're all better because of her. So congratulations to Kayla. For our teacher winner, here's some of the comments. Um, this teacher by far got the most nominations from the staff. Uh, genuinely makes time and cares for her students, goes above and beyond. Makes us smile and laugh even after tough days. Caring and compassionate and is a sounding board for so many students and staff. Takes the time to ensure students actually understand what they're doing. Always doing what is best for students and is their biggest cheerleader. I would argue that you're going to have a hard time uh, finding anyone with a bigger heart for kids than Andrea Adrian. Um, she, come on down. And Andrea had quite the year, um, had to be home for a while with COVID, had to be home uh, a while with kids who had it, and so she had experienced all the models from every different um, vantage point. And so um, just talk to anybody in her pod, she's always positive, um, always doing what's best for kids, and it's probably one of the, it's not often that you have to say to a staff member, maybe you care just a little too much. Um, but sometimes I think she does, so congratulations to Andrea. To present the Coach and Advisor Awards, Greg Garman. Our two selections from the activities department this year are people who are really behind the scenes and you really don't know that they're doing their job. 
Uh, they probably know why they're here now, and I had some help in getting them here because they're not like on staff, so to speak. So I appreciate them uh, finding a way to get here, and those who helped me get them here, I thank you for your work on that too. Um, our advisor this year, I selected Beth Carlson, who runs the one-act play and the three-act play, and if you, you, you really don't see her doing any of the work because the kids come out and they perform the one-act and the three-act, and they always do a fabulous job. Uh, so the only way you can see Beth at work is if you were to come to practice and nobody comes to watch one act or three act practice. So uh, congratulations, Beth Carlson. Please come on up. And our coach, so to speak, is a person who actually works with all of our coaches and really with all of our kids behind the scenes, and he keeps them uh, in good shape to play, especially when they've had an injury or a concussion. And this year, it's Luke Biermeyer. And Luke, Luke quietly goes about his business. He'll come and he'll work in the training room uh, Mondays and Friday mornings. And he'll do that quietly until he comes to the office with either one, two, or three of his own kids. And then they raid the candy dish of Kayla, and they talk loud, and, and they're actually quite fun to have around. So, Luke, thank you for your work, and thanks for bringing your kids in as well. All right, for the district-wide and community awards, um, I want to... First of all, I'll say that we certainly had a lens towards COVID when we were looking at some of these things and uh, some of the contributions that uh, people made, which obviously were incredible. Uh, this next one probably was the right, the right person at the right time in the right place. And so when we talk about uh, Stacy Grunwald, and all that she contributed to us. If, if you imagine going through a pandemic without someone that is a diligent about public health, um, is diligent about making sure the rules are followed and giving just solid, extremely solid advice uh, to administration as we went through this pandemic, it, it just would not have happened without her. So Stacy, if you could come up, please. And thank you for being with us today, too. I, I think there might have been some white lies told to get you here. <laughs> All right, next, and I'm not sure if, if this person is here, but uh, Anna Brecken. Is Anna Brecken here? She is not right now. I uh, just want to say a little bit about uh, her. And if, if you don't know anything about food service, if you haven't worked, uh, food service is not easy in general. And it's certainly not easy during a pandemic when the rules keep changing on you all the time. And I just so appreciated her leadership, uh, her attention to detail, uh, her flexibility in moving things around, rethinking things. There was times when I'd call her into my office and say, okay, this, this rule just changed. And it's like the 15th rule change of the day, you know. And she'd be like, oh, I'm already on top of it. You know, she's five, six, seven steps ahead of me, which is, you know, pretty typical. And she just goes over and above all the time. So uh, certainly if we could give a round of applause for Anna Brecken. <laughs> and last but not least, this next person uh, for the community award. We, we've worked with public health quite a bit throughout the pandemic. And again, going back to, uh, I will tell you as a former social studies teacher, uh, principal and superintendent, I was ill prepared for dealing with a public health crisis. And so I relied heavily on Polk County Public Health uh, for all their work, their expertise. Um, I was calling them all the time and they probably got annoyed thinking there's Jeremy calling us again about something else. Uh, but they just were consistent in, in their advice, their expertise and, and helping us craft our plans, especially as we, we've never gone through something like this before. And the work that they put in, the advice that they, they sh just even the little things, it, it's, you know, the devil's in the details and helping us with those details and making sure that we were keeping our students and our staff safe throughout the pandemic. So I just want to recognize uh, Sarah Reese as the OSPE winner for the community.
Now, not only did she have one superintendent to manage here in Crookston, but she also was working with all the superintendents in Polk County, and she met with us on a weekly basis and really just helped us, you know, come, sometimes steer us when we gone, went astray and uh, just gave us tremendous advice. So uh, I just from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for all the work on behalf of not only our school district, but all the school districts in Polk County. I want to say thank you. All right, next we move on to the portion where we're gonna honor some retirees here. Um, so we want to make sure that we recognize the, this tremendous work, uh, the, the lifetime of experience that these people have given to our district. Uh, so first and foremost, as we go about uh, recognizing these people, I just wanna make sure that we, we think through um, all the contributions and all the ways that they have touched our lives, the way that they've made our school district a better school, the, the, just the impact. I mean, if you think through the impact that all of us have on kids, but then to think through that entire career and all the impact that they that we have on students and families. When we think about how many people we touch throughout the their, our career, throughout our lifetime, I mean it's pretty incredible. And we are in a job that I would argue is probably the most important job in the world. And we literally are training up the next generation. And so when we think through just what these people have contributed in various ways. It takes so much, it's, it's more than just teachers, it's more than just administrators, it's custodians, it's bus drivers, it takes a lot of different groups to really make this place work. And so as we're presenting these people uh, and honoring them for their retirement, let's think through that, the impact that they've had on our school district and on our kids. So first and foremost, I'd like to recognize Janice Dorman. So, so the gifts are already out there. So we just want to recognize her. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apparently, uh, I didn't get all my cues here, um, which is good. Marilyn always keeps me in line. Uh, next, I want to recognize Randy Biting um, for all of your experience and time. Next, Carol Picard. Could you stand up, please? Is Carol here? Okay. Uh, and then, last but not least, Gary Stegman. <laughs> Gary, could you stand up, please? We got to recognize you. Thank you again for uh, all of the experience that you brought to our district and the way that you uh, really touched uh, everyone. And uh, for all of our retirees, even the way that in just in the three years I've been here, the way that you've touched me and just the conversations I've had, I've gotten to had, have with you guys, um, th walk, walking through the halls in, in just casual ways, uh, you certainly made Crookston Public Schools much more, a much more friendly place because you're here. So thank you so much. And with that, that concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much. All right, if you received an award, please come up to the front for a picture, please.